Hello, Jess Too Good here, and welcome to the Marvel Thon, where I review the Marvel Cinematic Universe films and how they stack up with Lego. Well, I just saw Avengers Endgame opening night, and don't worry, no spoilers here. Because there's no spoilers, there's not much I can say with this movie without spoiling stuff. So look, if you're a Marvel fan, of course you're going to see it, and you'll most likely appreciate it. I loved it. I mean, as a movie, would it stand alone? I don't know. I'm going to see it again tonight and figure that out. But with 11 years of buildup and what would have came off as a fan service and pandering seems so earned. So much happens in this movie, but it seems deservingly so, and it never feels like too much. The years of buildup have led to this one movie. Despite a three-hour runtime, I never felt bored. I kept wondering what would happen next, and that's really a credit to the Russo brothers who directed the movie. Not only is it directed in an interesting way, there's an interesting story filled with interesting characters with fantastic actors in general, but it's interesting to look at and digest in general, which I really appreciate. So many beautiful scenes and meaning in different ways beyond just being your run-of-the-mill superhero film, which a lot of people might disregard it as at first. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about spoilers. What about the Lego sets? Yeah, I've been saying this from the start since they were revealed. The Lego sets are just random things thrown together. It's probably best they didn't even put Endgame title on any of the boxes for the sets. But we'll discuss all of this in the upcoming spoiler video, so stay tuned for that if you have seen the movie. Try to keep the comments spoiler free, but have you guys seen Endgame? With one word and no spoilers, how would you describe it? Leave that in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.